Ladies and gentlemen, week six in the NFL is going to kick off. It will not kick off on Thursday night. It will kick off on Sunday afternoon, 1018 at 1 p.m. We will have the Denver Broncos visiting the New England Patriots. Uh, New England has won five straight home games versus Bron- uh, versus the Broncos, including the playoffs. This game will be in Foxborough. Uh, I don't believe Drew Locke is going to be back. I'm not sure about Cam Newton's status. Um, I'm guessing Cam Newton's going to play. If Cam does, uh, I like the Patriots. I'm going to pick them. Uh, then we have the Washington football team uh, playing the New York Giants, and this game is uh, <laughs> not going to be a good one. But Washington has lost four straight games by 14 or more, and the Giants just had their best offensive performance of the entire year in a loss to the Cowboys. Um, I will never, ever pick the Giants to lose to Washington, so I'm going to pick New York, and I'm go- I'm probably going to eat my words on Sunday when we lose to a team with no name. But we're on five, so it makes it a little bit easier to suffer that kind of humiliation. But I'm going to pick the Giants. Then we have the Bengals and the Colts. So the Bengals, um, they're, they're terrible. We know that. Indianapolis has allowed fewer than 265 passing yards in five straight games. That defense has been playing some incredible ball. And I don't particularly think Joe Burrow and the Bengals have any sort of real gusto on offense. I think that they're going to be stymied uh, in a big-time way. I like the Colts on Sunday. Then we have the Ravens and the Eagles. Lamar Jackson, 23-4 and as a starter. Uh, he's not going to lose to the Philadelphia Eagles this game. Should be won by a considerable margin for Lamar and the Ravens, so I'm going to pick the Baltimore Ravens. Then the Lions will meet the Jaguars. The Jags have allowed 30 or more in four straight games. This game is hard to predict only for the fact that both teams are so bad. You all know that I'm a I'm a pretty big Lions fan, uh, even though I'm, I'm primarily a Giants fan. But you know what I mean. I like the Lions a lot. I like Matt Stafford. I like Kenny. I love Kenny Galladay. I'm gonna pick them. I think that they are the overall better team. I just don't see uh, Gardner Minshew and company having any sort of rebuttal for the Lions' offense, which has been shown to be a particularly decent or above average group. So I like uh, I like Detroit in this game. Then we have the Falcons and the Vikings. The Falcons are going to be playing their first game under their new interim head coach Raheem Morris after Dan Quinn and uh, their owner, who has a, a cool name that I forget, um, were both fired following their abysmal 0-5 start which included numerous blown leads. Uh, Kind of pathetic. Actually, very pathetic. Uh, The Vikings suffered a crippling loss on Sunday night. Uh, This game is kind of hard to predict for the fact that the Vikings' defense is kind of not good, and the Falcons can score a lot of points, but neither team is good. You know, I'm going to pick the Falcons in this game. I'm going to say they get their their first win of the year under their interim head coach, uh, and then they they take it one game at a time from there. So I've got Atlanta in this game. If this game even happens, because uh, the Falcons just shut down for multiple positive coronavirus tests. So we'll see. If this game goes on, I've got the Falcons. Then we have the Texans and the Titans. Um, Tennessee is one of the two undefeated teams in the American Football Conference which is kind of crazy to say that the other one is Pittsburgh and not like Kansas City or New England or anything like that. So Tennessee, they look fantastic against uh, Buffalo on Tuesday night. Uh, Houston, they got their first one of the year, but still a lot of questions in Houston. Uh, I like Tennessee. They just they can run the ball. Um, Ryan Tannehill has been playing as well as Patrick Mahomes. That is not... That is not a stretch of the truth. If you look at the numbers, they are eerily similar, and 
Tannehill has more touchdowns to the same amount of interceptions as Mahomes. I don't know what that that span of games is. I think it's like since he became the starter in Tennessee last year to now. I think so. I'm not sure. But, I mean, you get what I mean. But either way, I'm picking Tennessee. Then the Bears will play the Panthers. Chicago is one of two teams to have each of their games decided by one score. And that's not sustainable. It's really not. Unfortunately, for the for the Panthers, they're not a good enough team to capitalize on that, I don't think. Yeah, the Panthers, they're 3-2. and two. They can throw the ball all over the yard, apparently. Apparently, Teddy Bridgewater is a, a downfield passer now, so I guess we'll see how that works out for them. I'm going to take Chicago in this game. Uh, I still don't think that they're anything legit, but I think that they're good enough, uh, at least this week, to beat the Panthers. Then the Browns are going to take on the Steelers. Uh, Roethlisberger is 22-2-1 in his career versus Cleveland. But this year, it's a little different. The Browns are 4-1. and one, The Steelers are 4-0. and oh. The Steelers, all of their wins combined, those teams are like 3-15-1. That's terrible. And Cleveland has actually beat actual football teams. So I'm going to take the Browns. I'm probably going to be very, very wrong. But, um, but I'm going to take the Browns. Then the Jets will play the Dolphins. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick has looked fantastic in the past two weeks. So I'm going to pick the Dolphins. The Jets just released their best player, Le'Veon Bell. They are <laughs> all in on Adam Gase for no reason. Uh, the guy who is single-handedly ruining the career of Sam Darnold. And I don't know. The Jets are just they are in a bad, bad place, and they will be for a long, long time. So I've got Miami. Then the Green Bay Packers will square off with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Green Bay has scored 30 or more with no giveaways in four straight games. That is an incredible statistic. Aaron Rodgers is playing lights out football. And the Buccaneers are still very up and down to me. I don't know exactly what they are. I'm going to take Green Bay because they are the better team offensively, defensively, and on the special team side of the ball. They're just a better team. And Aaron Rodgers is, be- is the better quarterback. He always has been. So I'm picking the Packers. Then the Sunday night football game will be contested between the Los Angeles Rams and the San Francisco 49ers. I'm going to pick the Rams. That defense has looked so good. And the 49ers have just... I They've just been bad. They benched Jimmy Garoppolo. They said it was out of caution for his ankle. No, he got benched because he was playing like garbage and he threw like two or three interceptions. Uh, And that's a trend that's likely to continue. So I'm going to pick the Rams in this game. Then on Monday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time, a little bit different on Monday night, the Kansas City Chiefs will play the Buffalo Bills. So both teams who were 4-0 and then lost their last game are going to be meeting up here. This is going to be a great test for Buffalo, they were roasted after Tuesday night, uh, talking about how they were uh, they were a faux team, they were fake, and how bad Josh Allen actually is. So this will be an actual test for Josh Allen. We'll see exactly how good he is. Uh, I don't really know who I want to pick in this game. I reckon I'll pick Kansas City because they are the better offense, and it's just kind of it would be unwise to pick against Patrick Mahomes, the reigning Super Bowl MVP. So I'm going to pick Kansas City on Monday night. And then the final Monday night football game will be contested between Arizona and Dallas. So the Cardinals and the Cowboys. Andy Dalton has lost four straight games on Monday night football. I reckon this will continue. The Cardinals are a quiet 3-2 team. They've got a lot going for them. A very young core that gets better and better and better every week. I like Arizona. They're my pick. All right, and the teams on their buys are going to be the Chargers, the Raiders, the Seahawks, and the Saints. TBD, of course, with the Atlanta situation developing minute by minute. I tried to hold out as long as I could to figure out what exactly was going to be going on in Atlanta, but that's pretty much all I know. So 
Everybody, please wear your masks. Stay safe. Stay socially distant from people who are gross. Um, everybody's gross right now, so just stay away from everybody. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, stay well. Stay safe. Enjoy some football. Watch some college ball. Uh, enjoy the MLB playoffs. I hope that uh, I hope that you have a great one, and I'll catch you next week in week seven.